<laughs> we were kidding about that. Wouldn't be cool. It'd be a cool name like Scooter or, or, or you know, when you go fishing. Hey, what's your name? All right. I, I'm Tom Bob. Well, let me narrate this a second. We got a, we got a monster, monster, monster hooked up here on a quarter ounce jig and shrimp. I got the engine running in case I have to pull the anchor. And look at that, folks. Whoa. Look at that. Holy crap. I don't know why, but we always get these giant fish on the little spinning rods. This is going to be a monster, monster fish. <laughs> Problem is that white crab trap right out there. And he's out, and the current is going that way. I'm almost thinking I'm going to pull it. Okay, and I'll follow. I'm pulling it. This is the second time this week I've had to pull the anchor to go get fish. This is the second time this week. But stand here, just keep reeling? Yep, just keep the pressure on him. We gotta get him away from that crab trap. Because he's gonna go right towards it. Yep. Keep reeling. Real, real, real. Fast, fast, fast. Off the anchor, folks. Chasing a giant RB, I think. Better not be a stingray. I know. <laughs> I've caught him before. I want to, okay, now I'm between him and the crab traps. Whoa, I'm going to run right into the damn crab trap here in a second. Big cobia. Yeah, I'd sh I'd shit a brick if a cobia was eight miles inland. <laughs> we don't get that lucky. Oh, okay. I'll tell you what a guy did the other day when he caught he caught that. It was a 21 pound redfish on that little white, little light jig like this. He set the record of catching the largest fish ever caught on one of those jigs. That's an ugly stick, man. That thing can put a whooping on him. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's, uh, we at least got to see him. Yeah, if he's a redfish, I know I can turn the head. That's the reason we use those gold hook jigs. Because them some bitches are strong, but they're not huge. You know. Is this unbelievable or what? Is this a manatee? <laughs> We got plenty of them around. <laughs>
Okay, I'm being, able, I'm being able to stay right between him and the damn crab traps. I'll tell you, those reels have gone through hell. Oh, yeah. Was that it? Yeah, it was, it was a fish. It wasn't the red. There it is. That's a giant a red. red. A big old red. Yeah. Giant red fish up in, what did you catch him in? Ten foot of water? Yeah. Oh, that is it. Ten foot of water, that's folks. The biggest I've, ever, I've got 30, 40 pounders. He looks bigger than that. Nah, it? nah. Yeah, 30 They're all running in the 20s. Okay. You think it's 20 pounders? Yeah. Big red fish. Ten foot of water, folks. A jig and a shrimp. <laughs> Giant RB, Brutus T, red bass. Oh, we're going to get him right in the boat, don't worry. Oh, i got to wait until he's damn near floating. There he is. He's almost done. He's almost done. Ten foot of water, folks, and now we're out in, well, only 18, about a football field or more from where we hooked them. This is another trophy catch aboard the Jetty Wolf. There he comes. Oh, no. oh, oh, oh. He's, getting hey, he's getting tired. Just swing him around, swing him around. Oh, he's just barely hooked, too. Before I break my net. <laughs> okay. Okay. Woo! Woo! Man. Uh, what do you think he weighs? Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll know here in a minute. Whoa. Whoa. Another trophy fish. Woo. Okay, folks. I hope everybody can see this in the hat cam. Quarter ounce H and H tackle jig. Nice job. Excellent angling. Okay, folks. The lead is even loose now on the jig head. <laughs> the lead is wobbling around on your jig head. That is what you call a tough ash quarter ounce jig. Okay? That is a true Brutus T red bass junkyard dog. All right, let's see how big this one is. Get a picture and get them loose, huh? Second trophy of the week. Okay. Oh, man. Holy shit. 29 pounds. Here, let me let me get a picture of them with toss them loose. Oh, oh, he ain't going to toss. He's going to have to be revived. Show me how you do that. I've never done that before. All right. Oh, 
<laughs> I don't want another one of those. I got mine for the day. It's your turn next year. <laughs> Well, he might be a little bloated. The one I had the other day, we had to stick a pin in, oh. get all the gas out of them. Oh. Let me uh, bump the boat in gear here. Uh, yeah, let's go toward back where we came from. That is, that makes the whole day right there, practically. Makes the whole day. Okay. G the giant red and giant croaker are all in the same spot. Okay, let's see if he'll go. And then the best thing to do is pick him up. And turbo him. Now let's see if he pops up. He may end up popping up still. Whew! Oh yeah. That's like, that fish just ran a 26 mile marathon and then we put a bag over his head because we pulled him out of the water. So he didn't pop up so he went back down. Congratulations. Thank you. Guess what? That right there is a catch that don't happen very often. Except guess what? It happened twice this week. <laughs> How's that? Uh, Twice this week. I don't want another one. Except that one was a lot bigger. Oh, that one was what, 20, 28, 29 pounds? pounds you had in there. Yep. yep. The other one was 21. Okay. And we had to do exactly the same thing. Yeah, okay. I mean, the guy, uh, Bob, he goes, he says, unfortunately, Dave, I'm seeing the bottom of the spool. And I went, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and I hurry up, pulled the anchor. Yeah. All right. Well, you're all on hat cam. Okay. Look at this, folks. You can tell we're fishing in the perfect water. Freshwater kitty cat. A big old freshwater kitty cat. Yep. And we're sitting here. This is the same area. Come on, now. Same area I was yesterday, and we're catching croakers, trout, reds, sheep's head. Come on. Look at that. Freshwater kitty cat. You don't see that very often around here, but that tells you one thing, you're in the perfect water.